are your WP form submissions not reaching your Gmail inbox? If that's your problem, I can solve it for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the WP forms not sending email to Gmail in a few minutes. So let's get started. To give you a little bit of context, I'm going to tell you what we have so far, what the problem is and what you need. Number one, what I already have is a WordPress website. So as you can see, I'm on the WordPress dashboard. This is for one of my students. Number two, I've created a contact page where there is WP Forms form that I've embedded. So if you enter the email address and hit, hit submit, you're going to be redirected to a thank you page. So I have a contact page that redirects to the thank you page. I also have the webmail right here. And of course I have my Gmail account, okay? These are the different things that I do already have. The problem is when somebody enters the details here, such as the email address and hit submit, I receive an email on my webmail, but I'm not getting them on my Gmail inbox. So my student wants to be able to get these emails on his Gmail account. Well, we need two things for this. Number one, we need something called the WP SMTP plugin for WordPress. It's free. So I'm going to head into plugins. I'm going to click on add new plugin. And let's type WP SMTP as you type it in. Most probably the one that appears right up top is the one that we want. It says WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms. Boom, there we go. That's what I want. Okay, now once you install and activate the plugin, you can head into the settings of that plugin. Okay, so here we are. You see that WP Mail SMTP. I'm going to click on there. You got to look at the from email. This is where you'd want to enter your Gmail ID, okay? And then you're going to type in the name. As you scroll down, take a look at these. You have different apps. We're looking at Gmail here, okay? Click on there, on, on that radio button. And then comes your client ID, client secrets. These are the two pieces of info we will need. And for that, I've given you two different steps. What I've already done, well, I've downloaded and activated the WP SMTP plugin. I've changed the from email. If you want, you can change the from name. By default, my client's or my, my student's name is already there, then that's fine. And I've chosen the Gmail from the list of apps, okay? On to step number two, I'm gonna click on there. Step number two, we're gonna head into Google's cloud console okay i'll share a link in the drop down sorry in the description down below click on there so you can either start for free in my case i already have signed up using my gmail account i could click console once i click on console i'm going to see something like so um, i want your attention here we are going to select a project i'm going to click on the drop down and I'm gonna click a new, click on new project, okay? That's what we got to do. And I'm gonna call this WP SMTP mail, okay? Uh, no organization, I'm, I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna click create now. Right, so you're going to see something like this. So you can type API and on the left side, you'll see API services. Okay, we're gonna go with the API services. That's what, that's the one we are after. And after that, you need to go into the library. Okay, you see library, click on there in the, lav uh, in the navigation menu. And in here, you can type Gmail API. Okay, so once you're on there, you can search for Gmail API, just select and enable it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick the first one and then make sure you click the button that says enable, okay? So that takes care of that part. We are done with one, two, three, four. Four steps are now complete. Step number five, create credentials. So on the right side, you will see create credentials, okay? Click on there, create credentials. And this is where it'll say Gmail API. If it is already not there, make sure you click on the drop down and pick Gmail API from that list. Next, make sure you click on user data, user data, click next. Next, you'd wanna give this a name. 
again I'm gonna keep it uniform so I'm gonna type SMTP mail you can enter your email you, you could pick your email address from the drop-down menu and then you can even give a logo I don't care about that you can enter an email address here again you could just type in your Gmail ID that's fine this is for the developer contact info okay I'm gonna click on save and continue right now we would want to again click on save and continue this is where we have the auth or auth client ID now we are on to OAuth client ID that's where you need to be in the drop-down menu make sure you pick the web app name and as you scroll down you're going to be able to see this authorized redirect URIs okay now this is important for us we're gonna get this from the WP SMTP plugin that we installed remember we were here on WordPress you will see that there is authorized redirect URI this is it you see a little copy icon right there the moment you click on there you're going to get a green check that's good and then head back into your cloud and then you pop that in there like so right and then click create and now scroll down all the way to done boom I'm gonna click on done excellent right so that's one big chunk of work that's complete so on the left side go into OAuth um, consent screen I'm gonna click on publish app and it says do you want to push it to production I'll confirm yes now it's in production that's great news congratulations once we're confirmed it's time to go into the credentials and get that client ID and client secret if you remember that's what we wanted in the first place we're going to get our client ID and client secret and the way to do that is head back into credentials I'm gonna click on credentials and boom you see that web client we have it I'm gonna click on this little pencil icon and on the right side I have my client ID and my client secret down here okay so I'm gonna copy the client ID like so copy paste that in the client ID right there like that and then I have my client secret I'm gonna copy that pop it right there both are done click on the save settings okay now as you scroll down on here now it's going to ask you to allow the plugin to send emails using your Google account I'm gonna click on that and then you can pick your email address make sure if you see something like this click on unsafe that's fine click continue and boom it's all set okay so we're all set let's go ahead and test an email here I am on the form embedded page so I'm gonna type something like test to at gmail.com and then I'm gonna hit submit and now if I head into my Gmail boom there we go it says that email address right test to at gmail.com that is working for me okay so that's it folks that is how it is done hopefully you found value in this video here are a couple of questions number one have you tried a different approach if you tried a different approach let me know what worked for you or if you have another plugin even if it's a paid plugin that makes the job easier do let me know in the comments down below okay I'd, I'd appreciate it I'd love to know what approach worked for you thanks very much for watching please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want some valuable useful information like this about WordPress marketing digital marketing and more my name is CM Manjunath and thank you for watching